Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth period of week 16, the penultimate week in the NFL 1990. This is an AFC Central clash between the 8 and 6 Houston Oilers who are visiting the 8 and 6 Cincinnati Bengals. And this game has a bearing on the playoffs in that if Houston win, then they would be AFC Central champions. If the Bengals win, then they would secure a wildcard place and Houston have to go to Pittsburgh to possibly get a wildcard slot. The other thing that will happen if Cincinnati win will mean that the Raiders cannot get a wildcard and therefore Houston and Pittsburgh would fill in the wild card slots. <clears throat> As you can see from the score, the Oilers are trailing 10 to 13 as we start this fourth period and Cincinnati are second and four at their own eight. So the fourth period commences and Asiasen, it's gonna be a short pass against a blitz. Asiasen under center takes a snap and he's looking for Tim McGee, 21, and it's going to be an incomplete pass, making him now 13 of 25, and it's third down and two. Cincinnati third and two, they're going to go for a short pass against a blitz, so they're going to play the same play. Asiasen takes the snap and he's looking for Rodney Holman, 66 is K, a zero pass. He is not. And Holman completes and he's going to get eight yards out to their own 16. So it's going to be a first down to the Bengals at their own 21. First and 10 to the Bengals, outside run against a safe defense. And just for your information, Houston are playing on a minus four on the cards adjustment, and Cincinnati are playing on a zero. So outside run against a safe defense. Assassin under center takes the snap, looking for James Brooks, 52. His E a zero run, he's not, so doesn't get a gain and he's pushed out of bounds for no yards. That is only Brooks' second carry of the game. Second down and 10. Outside run against a safe defense again. Asiasen takes the snap, again looks for James Brooks, 32, is GB a two run? He's not, so Brooks makes two yards only. And we move to third and eight at the Bengals, 23. Medium pass against a safe defense. Asiasen takes the snap, looks for Jim Riggs, 61, is C a zero pass, he's not. So the defender tries to get the ball and we're going to see if there's an interception. And now the ball falls to the ground and incomplete pass and we move to fourth down. So Lee Johnson will come on to punt the ball away. Johnson gets a 47-yard punt off. Down to the 35 of the Oilers, and it's going to be returned by Gerald McNeil. And he will gain nine yards and then get pushed out of bounds. And that will bring 
Warren Moon and his offense back onto the field. Houston first and 10 at their own 44, needing to win to guarantee the divisional championship. And we've got an inside run against a safe defense. <clears throat> Warren New Moon takes the snap, snap, drops back, hands the ball off. To Lorenzo White, 33, is GB a zero run? He is not. And Lorenzo White gets a five-yard gain. And so second and five at their own 49. Houston trailing by three. Short pass against a safe defense. On second down, Moon takes the snap. Looks to pass to... Ernest Givens. Moon is a B completion and Givens will get the pass and make seven yards and get a first down into the Bengals territory. 11.45 remaining. Houston first and 10 at the Bengals. 44. Short pass against a safe defense. Moon taking the snap. Looking for Drew Hill, 43. Is CE a zero pass? He is not. So he completes to Lorenzo Hill, that's uh, to Drew Hill for 13 yards and another first down. Moving now to the 31 of the Bengals, first and 10. To the Oilers, medium pass against a safe defense. Moon drops back, looking for Leonard Harris, 52. Is B a two pass? He is not. And has Leonard Harris got the question mark? Is the question? And he has not. So Harris makes the completion for 21 yards down to the 10 yard line. Is it going to be enough for a, they can make a first down? So, Houston first at 10 at the Bengals 10. And it's going to be a short pass against a safe defense. Drop the dice. So we'll roll those again. As soon as I drop the dice. Moon takes the snap, looking for Lorenzo uh, for Drew Hill, and it's going to be incomplete. Second and ten from the Bengals ten. Short pass against a safe defense again. Moon dropping back. Looking for Hayward Dress Jeffries and he's going to get nine yards. And third down. And one at the one. Inside run against a run defense. They need one yard. Moon takes the snap, drops back, and hands the ball off to Lorenzo White. 43. Is TA a two run? He is not. And they gain a yard. Is that enough for a touchdown? It is. Touchdown to Lorenzo White. Tony Garcia comes on for the extra point, and it's good. So Houston, with nine and a half minutes remaining, take the lead in this vital AFC clash. Put 
at the back. We're going to kick off. So Teddy Garcia comes out to kick off. He is a C kicker, 15, 68 yards. Are they going to return it? They're not. So Cincinnati will take the ball first and 10 at their own 20. Trailing by four, 17 to 13 in favour of the Oilers. Inside run against a safe defence. So Boomer has to come out and do the business again. Inside run is going to be handed off to James Brooks. 63 is J a zero run. He is not. So picking up two yards on that run. It's going to be second and eight. And I really should have my special situations chart out ready. Trailing by four, so at this moment in time, we're still playing on the normal cards, second and eight. It's going to be a long pass against a safe defense. Assisen steps back, looks for Eddie Brown, 53. Is H a zero pass? He is not. And this could be intercepted, not what... Assassin would want 63. No, it comes off the defender and it's going to be incomplete. So third down and eight. Short pass against a pass defense. Assassin steps back looking for James Brooks, 55. That's going to be a special. An unusual result. 44. It's going to be incomplete, but there is a flag on the play. And it's going to be whistled dead before the play. So, five yard penalty for a false start. Brings up third and 13. And they're going to go inside run against a blitz. <laughs> Okay, bit of an unusual call, but that's what they've called. Assassin takes the snap, drops back, hands the ball off to James Brooks, 34. Is SB a two-run? He is. So there's a monster block that only gets him seven yards. It's not going to be enough. And so Johnson, Lee Johnson will come on to punt the ball away. Gonna get a 40 yard punt. Down to the 36. It's gonna be returned by Gerald McNeil. For just seven yards. So I'll get back to their own 43 yard line. Eight minutes remaining. In this game, Houston leading by four. 17, 13, first and 10 to Houston at their own 43. Short pass against a safe. Moon drops back and looks for Gerald McNeil. 34 is GA a two pass. He is not. So going to get the ball completed and get six yards. And the second down. Second and four at the 49 yard line of Houston. Screen pass against a safe defense. Si um, Warren Moon drops back and looks to compete to Hayward Jeffries. Is EC a zero pass? He's not. So Jeffries goes to the excess column. Is A a two pass? He is not. So 14 yard gain, big gain. 
into the Bengals territory in a first down, first at 10 for Houston at the Bengals 37 yard line. <coughs> Screen pass against a safe defense, using a lot of safe defense, and it doesn't seem to be working for Cincinnati, but they persist in it. So Moon looking to complete to Drew Hill. 65 is a, a zero pass. He is not. And he catches the ball behind, way behind the line, drops five yards, even though it's complete. Six minutes 30 remaining in this game, leading by four. Second down and 15. Screen pass against a pass defense. Moon drops back, looks. For Ernest Givens, 33, is EB a zero pass? He is not. Is B a two pass? He is not. So it gets a 12-yard gain, giving them three yards short of the line to gain. Six minutes remaining. Third down and two at the 30-yard line. Short pass against... A pass defense. Moon drops back, looks for Ernest Givens, 14. It's going to be incomplete. It's going to be fourth down. <coughs> going to bring the kicker out, Teddy Garcia, looking at a 47-yard field goal. He's an A field goal kicker, so... Let's see what he can do with this. Ball is snapped. Holder's got it. Kick is in the air. And it is no good. He's missed it. Only good from 44 and he's 47 yards. So the Bengals will take over at the 30. Remember in 1990. So it's at the spot where the, the, the previous line, the scrummage. Not from where the kick was, so 5.45 remaining, four trailing by four. And so we're going to be using box A. So it's going to be a long pass against a safe defense. Sison trying to get this score to give them the lead again. So he takes the snap, looking for Eddie Brown. 56 is K a zero pass. He's not. There is a flag on the play and it could be intercepted as well. So it's an incomplete pass, but what is the penalty? Whistle has already gone. It's going to be a false start by the Bengals. So first and 15. Short pass against a safe defense. Sison dropping back, looking for James Brooks. 35 is the quarterback a two pass. No, he is not. So it's incomplete. And he's now thrown more incompletions than he has completions. He's 14 of 29 now. Second and 15. Screen pass against the safe. Asias and under centre takes the snap, drops back, looks for seventeen. Who is green? The problem is I haven't got a green. Oh, Harold Green. There he is. 54 is F a two pass. It is not. So it's caught for a six yard gain. So Harold Green, his first catch of the game, six yards down to five minutes remaining in the game. Third down and nine.
And it's going to be a short pass against a blitz. Sison takes the snap, looking for Eddie Brown. 63 is G, a zero pass. He is. So the pass is going to be complete, and it's going to be 14 yards. Bringing up a first down at the 45 yards line. So Eddie Brown with a 14-yard gain, first down. To the Bengals at their own 45 yard line. Short pass against a pass defense. Assassin drops back, looks for Tim McGee, 42. Is EB a zero pass? He is not. And so he completes the game, completes the pass over to Tim McGee for 17 yards. And moving into the Houston Territory, first and 10 at Houston's 33-yard line. Medium pass against a run defense. This could be good for Cincinnati if they can complete it. Assassin takes a snap, looks for Tim McGee again. 36 is GB a zero pass. He is a zero pass because we're in the Houston air zone. So it's going to be incomplete. 345 remain in second and 10. Screen pass against the safe defense. Assassin takes the snap. Looking to complete plate to Rodney Holman, but it's going to be an unusual result. 14 is going to go to the excess column, but there is a flag on the play. 64 is is X rating greater than 2. Well, yes, it is. So it's the go chart. 44 is going to be 41 yards. It will be a touchdown, but there's a flag on the play. 38 yard touchdown pass. Flag on the play. 54. Holding, offense, 10-yard penalty, replay second down. So another big penalty costing the Bengals. Touchdown call back for a holding penalty. So we're second and 20. 3.30 remaining in the game. Outside run against a blitz. And he's looking to complete this to Craig Taylor, who is a D. So it's a 13 on a D, and he's going to lose a yard. So they're going even further back, Craig Taylor. Third and 21. So it's going to be a long pass against a pass defense. Sison takes the snap, looking for Eddie Brown, 41. Is the quarterback a zero pass? No, he's not. So they're going to go to the XL, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds, 46. Is TA a zero pass? No. So they're going to make 26 yards. Down to the 23-yard line of Houston. He's going to be pushed out of bounds. So first and 10 at the 23. A field goal is no good for them. Two minutes, 45 remaining. And so they will use box C. It's going to be a long pass against a pass defense. The Sison drops back, looks for Rodney Holman. 25 is FB or GB a zero pass. GB is a zero pass. 
So it's going to be a sack on the quarterback, and they're going to lose 11 yards. So second and 21. Just over two minutes remaining. Medium pass against a pass defense. Asaisen takes the snap. Looks for Eddie Brown again, 24. SB or FB a two pass. No and no. So tight coverage. And it's going to be incomplete. I would say two minute warning comes up. Third down and 21. Long pass against the pass defense. This two plays really to. Save this game. Assassin takes the snap and he's looking for Kendall Smith. And it's going to be incomplete. So we go to fourth down and they've got to take it. They've got to go for it here. So fourth and 21. Long pass against a blitz. Sison under centre drops back, looks for Tim McGee, 43. Is SB a two pass? He's not. Is B or E a zero pass? No and no. And he's going to be sacked again for 10 yards and they're going to turn the ball over. And Houston will take the ball first and 10 at their own. 43, leading by four. So we'll use the D column, outside run against a blitz. One and Moon takes the snap, hands the ball off to Alan Pinkett. Is K a two run? He's not, so Pinkett will go to the XR column. Is SB a zero run? No. So Pinkett gains 14 yards and the Bengals will call a timeout. <coughs> First and 10. To the Oilers at the Bengals 41. Inside run against a run defense. Moon takes the snap, hands the ball off to Lorenzo White. Is care to run? Is not. Is he rated zero? He is. So Lorenzo White goes to the XR column. Is EC a zero run? He isn't. So gets nine yards. And again, the Bengals call a timeout. Second and one. First down here ends the game, really. Outside run against a run defense. One and Moon under centre. Takes a snap. Looking for Alan Pinkett again. 45. Hands the ball off to Pinkett. Is the quarterback a zero run? He is not. Is EA a zero run? He is. So he loses a yard. So final timeout comes in from the Bengals. Third and two. First down wins the game. Inside run against a run defense. Bengals have got no more timeouts. Moon takes a snap, hands the ball off to Lorenzo White. 51 is B. A zero run. He is. Goes to the XR column. 
Is GB a zero run? He isn't. So powers ahead for seven yards and gets the first down. <clears throat> and this will be the last play of the game. Inside run against a safe defense. Moon takes the snap, hands the ball off to Lorenzo White. 50-65 is H a zero run. He's not. So he's sacked. He's stacked up for a loss for a gain of just one yard. Has Lorenzo White got the question mark on an inside run? He does. And the question mark on a runner. Means it's going to fumble. So he's going to fumble. He's got to, they've got to return this for a touchdown, and that would be a, an 85-yard touchdown return. So 16 is FB a two-run. FB is not a two-run. So it's going to be recovered by Craig Ogletree. And 10 seconds will go off the clock, so they will get one play. So the Bengals take over the ball first and 10 at their own 25. So they cannot go for a Hail Mary. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a long pass against a pass defense. If they go out of bounds, then they'll get another chance. If not, the time will run out. Asiason takes the snap and it's going to be incomplete. So 10 seconds remaining, one play left, second down and 10. Long pass against the pass. Asiason takes the snap, looks for Tim McGee, 63. Is G a zero pass? He is. Quarterback has time to throw the ball away and it's going to go in, it's going to go incomplete and the game will come to an end. So the Houston Oilers win 17 to 13 and take the divisional title. And that will mean that the Bengals must go to Cleveland and win in order to secure a playoff spot it will be a wild card spot so hope you've enjoyed the game and until the next one good night <laughs>